Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue Luru, and today I thought I would run you through five products I bought and never used in 2019. I saw Anya Stamper do a video like this the other day, and it just got me thinking about all the stuff that I've bought that I've not used. So it's sort of a weird assortment, and I just went for the five. One of the things I did buy is the Mecca BB cream. I've not used this at all. It's completely full. I was going through a stage where I really wanted a BB cream and for some reason I just went oh yeah I'll buy the Mecca brand one. That will be good. I don't even know enough to say if I don't like it or not. But it, it's a full tube. I have no idea why I bought it. So I think I'll commit to trying to use it and see how we go. I was in Inglot a while ago and they had this for half price, the AMMC face blush in liquid. So it was cheap and I was like, liquid blush, that's fun. And I bought it. And then I realized, I, I, why? Why would I do this? Why would I buy liquid blush? I have no idea. So I think I've squeezed it to swatch it and was like, oh, I might as well, let's do it now too. Like, uh, see, so just controlling the amount to come out as well, because you, no one, no one needs this much blush, ever. And this was one pump, why would I do this to myself? This is just, I mean, it's a pretty colour, but, what? The, I feel like the amount of learning to figure out the right amount of product is just far too high. And I think this is the last product I bought from Inklop when, when that was on sale, just because it was on sale. So I was like, what, why did I do that? Last Christmas, Becca, their holiday highlight set went on special and this was half price. I've then continued to never use this. I don't know. I think I've like dipped into this shade, which should be opal. I don't fully understand why I bought this. I think it was solely because it was half price and the packaging's pretty. But I don't know. I've just, yeah. So I really want to try and commit to using this a bit more. And one palette I've been a bit sad that I bought and have just never used is the Perception palette from Colourpop. This is the Shayla collab. I was so excited when this came out and I just was like in love with the colours. But now, every time I look at it, nothing excites me about this palette. It's, this is all browns, a random like red and a blue. Like, I've got so many palettes that do this. I do want to use it though. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to commit to using this in the new year. Because it like, this shade looks pretty cool. But there's just something about the palette that every time I open it, and I open it a lot, I go, hmm, this is satin, shimmer black. Every time I open it, I go, oh, mm, why, no, not today. So, so my, um, yeah, so I think I'm definitely going to try and use this palette, but I sort of know why I bought this, but then once I owned it, it, my perception of it changed. And I feel like that happens a lot with makeup products. You'll see something online. Oh, the fifth thing. Image this. I feel like that happens a lot sometimes online. You will see something shared on Instagram, or you will see the pictures, you will see people hyping it, and you're like, yes, I want it. And this final product is definitely guilty of doing that to me. And it is the Sydney Grace Co. Lava Beds Glitter, or Glitter in Lava Blades. They posted this on Instagram and it just looked beautiful. It's a limited edition product. And I was like, yes, I must have, I must have. And I bought it. <laughs> Let's just show you. It is actually just pure, pure glitter. So, 
Yeah, it swatches nice on your finger. But once you swatch here, it's just glitter. And then I was like, oh, I could have just bought red glitter. Because I thought it was like, I thought it was like a paste thing. But I keep it because it reminds me that the things I see on Instagram aren't always real. And I do ultimately love Sydney Grace Coat. Everything else I got was amazing. Anyway, I hope this was somewhat entertaining for you. Um, if this is your first time here, please subscribe, like, comment, even if it's not your first time. I'd love to have you as part of my little YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Uh-huh.